hello guys welcome back in the last video we have created the settings part right so uh, if you have not watched that video i will put the video in the link video link in the description below so in this video we are going to use these settings to fill our invoice says right we have left this part and this company logo company name address email the information of that particular tenant so we'll be using this in our this video right so uh, let's start so how we, we how we are going to do is since we may need the settings in different areas so I will teach you in the way like we'll create a helper function so from that helper function we'll return the values of the particular tenant right so for that so let me first create a helper function here uh, okay helper helper dot help psp okay uh, let me create one function if not function exist uh, let's say get settings right if this function does not exist then we'll create a function get settings so what will it will do is uh, it, it will require array of columns right and it will also require uh, I think we need tenant ID and let's just say string it can be integer or string okay and then it will return okay array of settings so what is my plan is let me show you here so if we will get like tenant name address so as a column names from the user then it will return like this uh, in array okay tenant name and then value right comma address comma value like this this is the way it will return the data so let's start working so the first thing it will do is array columns right and the second thing is uh, i need tenant id okay so first of all what we will need to do is let us first get all the columns from the settings right so dollar settings equals to i also written an uh, article on this i will put the link in the description below oh sorry since it uh, okay mm, okay this one so i have also described this process uh in a clear way here right so let me just copy this and let me just first let me just put this okay setting model right so this is our the array which it is mpt so it will add all the key value pair right so first of all what i have done is i will get the settings wherein key key will be on our columns right so for that column and with settings so these settings means the tenant setting if we will go to here i have just created the setting relation for tenant setting so i am loading with this and on that settings we will use the tenant id because we only need the settings of particular tenant right so this is what it is doing so if i will just dd it here okay let me if i will dd and if i will try to refresh it will not work because since it is the helper function we need to register this so let me go to composer.json file and inside auto load auto load so let me create a files uh, okay and it's inside app uh, helper right app helper helpers.psp okay help let's see help helpers.psp okay after that i need to run one command to load it composer dom auto load okay let's wait for this 
that's it so now if i will refresh it okay it's still not did because i i need to call that function from anything right uh let's uh, i will just call from my provider for now okay get settings for example so column name will be uh, tenant name and address let's say and okay i am just passing the tenant id manually for now it is one let me refresh it so if you can see here now i have got settings address right okay so now i will get the that particular settings from the main tenant only those that i am interested on i am interested i was interested on tenant demand address so i get that so now let me uh, okay it will be sure so now what we will do is now we need to look through each columns right for each columns let, let's see column so first we, what we need to do from these settings not from our model now from these settings we will get that particular setting right if you'll see here there is a command like this okay so this is our single column like this is for now it is a tenant name so we will source in our settings relation here is there any column with that name okay if there is if there is any columns with that name then we need to first then get the tenant settings now tenant settings right so from where we can do is settings right and we have the relation settings and we will get the first one data so this is remember you may be confused but this settings always means the tenant settings okay because i have just created more confusion <laughs> relationship okay if now if there is tenant setting right if there is tenant settings then what we should do we should return the sorry we should not return we will add that on final result right sorry okay dollar final result and inside our column what we'll do is we will add the tenant settings value right if there is tenant settings value we'll add that otherwise normal setting value which is our default value default value means it will be from our main set default settings if there is no any settings provided right hope you understand this okay okay if there is settings value is set it will read that otherwise it will get from the our parent setting value that's it that's all what we need to do right if there is no setting then we don't care for that and at last what we'll do let me just do the final result and refresh it you can see now tenant name and address are there as well in the way what we want it right i think this is the perfect thing okay so now what we'll do is we'll just return the final result that's all that's it what we need to do is let me just remove this so now how we can use it so our purpose was it to use it on our invoice system right so here in the invoice what we'll need to do is we need to modify these things so okay let me quickly go to my uh, okay filament resource purchase resource pages and here is our invoice space okay i forgot to let me just zoom in okay so now now we need to have one two three four things right so what we'll do is we'll make one settings here and settings equals to what now we just need to get settings that's all nothing is we don't need that much information right so what are the things we need tenant name 
right and then we need address and then we need let's say um, city state okay let's say zip and then let's say email and the tenant will be flamant let's get the current tenant we are passing that's it so now i think we don't have uh zip and email in our setting let me quickly add that so inventory is uh, I think we need made admin console. Okay, settings. Let's say zip. It should be text input, and it should be inside general settings. And then the next thing we need is email. Okay, email. Uh, text input it should be inside. Okay, let's say general settings. Perfect. Now if I go to our settings page, now we have zip and email, right? Okay. So now we have get here the settings. If you want to check, if I will just do detailer settings here, now we can see the info. Sorry, need to do these settings now we can see the information tenant name address we are only getting these two attributes why okay because this was not set if it's not set so th this was the reason case here if there is no tenant setting also we need to what should we need to do is at least we will add the column with the empty value there so now you can get zip and email is empty right there so okay now to use it we need to go to our uh, invoice resource space right invoice this space and since uh, we have created a reusable invoice space if you remember right because the page this page and the print functionality page was same we created the same page so let me go to reusable purchase now just i need to modify here so for your company name what should i do simply say now i have the access to settings and the key will be tenant name that's it abc enterprises if you see let me open our setting on new tab it's abc enterprises enterprise edited let me save this setting and let me replace that's it abc enterprise edited right similar for this state what you can do settings uh, this is our address similarly for city settings uh, i think it's zip zip right yeah and then email dollar settings email right that's it so now if i will go here refresh okay my address is the address okay india zip let's say one two three four email let's say test at the red test.com if i will save these settings and refresh this page that's it every single price india one two three four email so if you have any question please contact us yes. so we can use that email or we can also use this part as the settings for like invoice footer settings or we can create a different tab for for particular settings page only and we can fetch data from that particular settings so we can modify in the way we required so now i think our invoice page is ready so let's work for our print functionality if i go to print so now same thing i need is here i need to access the settings right so here is my print i think we have created the invoice controller for that right so now i need to access the settings here too the accessibility is same so i think uh, i can just copy the same thing right and because i just need the same information Okay, let me just filament get tenant. 
but if you will see here I can't access the tenant here the reason for this is there is no tenant in the URL so what I can do is uh, let me modify our route so here I need to make tenant so this is the way we can pass the tenant if I will refresh here there is no URL and it's missing the parameter perfect so if I will go here and here first thing I need to pass is tenant and that will be obviously lamen get tenant id that's it now if I will go to here no purchase record found ok I think now I need to change something in our functionality too because it will be tenant id and then id and here we don't need now these things because we are already getting the tenant id from there perfect print ok now at least we have here now let us pass the settings to that's it abc enterprise limited india 1234 test at the rate sorry test at the rate test.com and all the other information are required so this was for this video uh, hope you like this video if you want any modification on this settings part you can comment me below and for the code i i will share you the link of the this article also you can check this here there too thank you guys